Hey everybody, this is Herschel Frewell from High School Top 200. This uh, Napier Boys uh, review is brought to you by Fine Line Barbers. Uh, what Fine Line Barbers has done is that they've actually joined up with a uh, barbering supplier company here, one of the biggest ones in New Zealand, and they're going to be putting um, on a old Ted old barber competition in September 2017. Um, what this is, is that it's a, it's a, a barber competition to find out who the best barbers in New Zealand are. Um, they're going to be um, uh, competing on, on one day um, in September uh, 2017. Uh, it's going to have all the barbers from around the country and all the barber shops from around the country representing themselves. And they're going to find out who the best barber is. Uh, they're going to be setting up a Facebook page and an Instagram page. And they um, are there so that we as a public can look at um, all the barbers that upload their work. And we can uh, follow them throughout the year. And we can actually get haircuts from them on the day in September of the competition. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. It's going to bring uh, light to the talent that we have here in New Zealand and the barber, barber industry. Um, so look out for their old title barber competition in September 2017. Uh, Napier boys, um, they were an interesting team this year. I... Um, I kind of expected a lot from them. Um, I expected a lot of... Um, I expected a really good backline. I expected a really good backline because of the players that they had um, and the talent that they had on board. I mean, throughout the year, um, I mean, they did okay. It wasn't, it wasn't like, a, a, totally, uh, like a, a totally bad year or anything like that. Um, but... Um, and they and they had some really close games. I, I thought they had some really close games. They had some, they had some wins which uh, which weren't really expected. I think um, they won against uh, Gisborne Boys. I didn't expect them to win that one, which they which they did. Um, beating Tauranga Boys was another good one. Um, um, them beating Fielding as well was a good one. They didn't show up when they came up to Hamilton, which was kind of bad. And but the team by then was really um, sort of depleting or kind of falling apart a bit um tim farrell who's the new zealand secondary schools uh prop uh you know got really sick he wasn't there for for a while and it didn't even look like um he was going to be back for the year but man he just fought through and he surprised a lot of people that he actually fought through and came back and it just shows how strong he is um even mentally to come back from from something like that um and so, um, I mean, they had some really good games, like the Rotorua one in the end, and then and drawing with Palmy as well, and, and things like that, I thought was um, showed testament to what their team was sort of built up around and built about. Um, uh, they came out with a 5-1-5 and five record um, at the end of the year. Um, and... It's not, you can't call it disappointing. Um, there was, I think there was a lot of stuff that was happening. Um, team selections was kind of uh, strange to me. Um, sometimes I didn't, I, when I, when I, whenever I'd look at their team roster that was coming out, um, it was kind of confusing. It kind of didn't make sense, um, especially the way that they, they kept them. Um, Switching up teams and switching up lineups and not really having a set kind of lineup to go by, um, and they had some really good players uh, as well, um, and especially their backline, which I really thought was going to fire off a lot, and it just didn't end up ha ha like happening that way. Um, Levy came over from Hastings Boys, which was actually a big boost to the backline, but even him himself, he got injured in the Hamilton game towards the end of the season, but. Um, I mean, they they had Zahn Sullivan, who actually really showed out this year that he that he can play at a high level. But at the same time, for me, and this is just me personally speaking, I think they should have had someone like uh, Mitchell Drew in first five, Levy in second five, Al uh, Moimoisia and uh, Moimoisia and in, and in, in centre, and then had Zahn at fullback. And then put like um, Nico on the wing, and I'd say Zayn at fullback because 
at that age, even though he is talented and he is young, he's got a split second to make a decision basically every five seconds he will touch the ball. And I think for a year 11 and for a young guy, that is a bit too much. Where at least from fullback, because he can run and he can kick and he's got a really big boot and he makes good decisions, you just don't know how he's going to respond to that kind of stuff. I mean, there were a couple of games this year where Zahn was getting hammered. He should have been taken off and he didn't. And they didn't take him off. Um, there were some... And he was getting hit hard. I mean, even in the Hamilton game that I was at... He was getting hit hard. And it was constant. And it was constant because the gap for someone to react, to make a decision, uh, to assess something, make a decision, and then react, all in that split second, for a year 11, especially playing against a team like Hamilton, that can be really daunting kind of thing. And I don't think that Zahn in that, at that time, or even in this year, was in a space to be making those kind of decisions. So for me personally, I would have put Mitchell there, who's a big dude, who was probably the best offensive player this year, um, especially in the back line. He was probably the best back line player that they had this year, who performed all the time. He, I would have put the decisions in his hands. Uh, even though he's more of a second five in my eyes, I still would have taken the, the pressure of Zahn and said to Mitch, well, you take this now. These are this is for you to make the decisions. You, Levy, and Al at first five, second five, and center all just be power players, and you guys take the lead the whole time. And then let um, put Nathan on one wing with Nico on the other wing, and then Zahn at fullback. And then you guys can all figure it out how it works out after that. And you can figure out your rotations who's coming around, who's cutting under, um, how you're going to attack when you kick down. I think it would have been better that way. And then Josh McIntyre still stay at, at, at halfback and just have a better person to pass to in terms of he's an older player and he can take this pressure already. That was what I thought should have happened because I just saw too many inconsistencies and then um, not a level of maturity, especially the physical side of stuff for Zahn to be sitting in there. He did a good job this year. I really do think he did a good job. And um, next year he's going to be even better. But at the same time, I still think that Mitchell, Levy, and Al would have been better as 10, 12, and 13. With Zahn at the back, um, Nikau helping him out on the wing, as well as Nathan, who's a um, uh, who, who's an up-and-coming winger, and I think will be turned into maybe a centre. But um, I think that would have been a better fit um, for for that back line. And Mitchell was probably the best, uh, was, was the best back because he was the most consistent and he made, um, he basically made um, everything an opportunity for um, his team. And uh, especially when it came out to, uh, came up to Hamilton boys, he played a good game against Hamilton boys as well. And so like um, things like that worked out. I felt the forward pack for these guys too was pretty big. Um, Toby Holden and Josh, um, and Nick Hutton, they're, they're all big fellas. And Will Tremaine is like one of the unluckiest open sides this year because he got injured at just at the wrong time. And 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 he had those qualities of New Zealand secondary schools, barbarians kind of qualities as well. Um, and then we had, they had Cameron Huyata and, um, and Tyrone Thomas. Um, him and his brother, um, his twin brother Leo, will be guys that I'll be looking for next year. But... And Josh will be a, um, uh, uh, a boxer, will be uh, probably the main guys next year. Um, uh, Josh is one guy that I'll be looking for. Jack uh, Vaimoli will be another guy I'll be looking at as well, uh, along with Cameron. Uh, guys that I'll turn to for next year. But, um, you know, I thought this team was pretty underdeveloped, um, maybe a bit. Uh, out of reach with selections, but this is just my point of view, and also with the likes of Tim being out for so long, didn't help either, um, because taking Tim out of that situation um, on the field is just a massive loss, just because of how big and how physical and fast and fit he is, when you take that away, it's not easy to replace someone like that, 
it was the same with Will. If Will was the same with, to come off, you wouldn't know how to replace a guy like that. You know, you would have to get two two guys and then change a bit of the system um, to make sure that you back up for what those guys lose. And so, like, um, and then, so that's what I thought about this team. They they had a pretty good run. I think they should have done a bit better. Um, the thing with Tim, you just can't help that. You just didn't know things like that would happen. Um, selections are a bit different for me, for my liking as well. Um, look out for Patty next year. Uh, Patty and um, and then Josh uh, uh, Gimblet and um, and yeah, uh, Patrick Teddy would be um, you know another guy I'll be looking out for as well. And so um, they're going to be they're going to be pretty good next year. They're going to have a, a good bright team next year. Have a look out for that. But that's my review for this year. Napier boys, please.